Hello everyone, welcome to the first soldering tutorial for the Micro Mouse Club. Um, the first board I'm going to start with will be the proximity sensor board, and it's really simple. It's a really simple board. It consists of just a few, um, couple of capacitors and a couple of resistors, and um, four pin headers, and at the same time we have um, we have the transistor and um, the LED. Um, diode and the receiver to um, make the sensor. Um, first of all, um, the best way to start soldering any board is to start soldering the VS. Um, the board I have right now doesn't have any VS, so um, I'm gonna skip that part because I don't even have it. Um, the second best choice to start with would be um, soldering any ICs or any any component that has more than two pins. Um, in this case, we don't really have any ICs on the board, but what I'm going to start with is the transistor. Um, the first thing, the first thing to do is um, just start with any one of the leads. Um, I usually start with the right ones because they have, um, I could handle it better. Um, just add a little bit of a flux and, and bring the solder with the soldering iron and just add a little tiny bit. Um, on that spot. Yeah, this this looks good. Now let's bring the transistor. Let's see here. Okay, so that's our transistor. Um, it's it's impossible to get the leads um, in the long way for the transistor because there's only three three leads. Um, let's see over here. So the best way to do it is to to touch the soldering iron on the solder, melt it, then bring the lead and just merge it with with the solder. And usually what I do. Um, again, is I just um, push a little bit on it and melt it again to make sure that I actually have a good contact um, with the lead of the board. Now, if if you want to make sure that it's actually have a good connection at the same time, the lead looks good. Um, you can tilt the board a little bit, and you can see on the left, um, the left lead is actually have a good contact with um, with the board. So I don't need to adjust it, and um, looks good. So next thing would be so again, go to the next lead and just add a little bit of flux and touch this um, the iron with the solder and just get like a little tiny bit of it, and then just add it like that. Um, I would add a little bit more just to have a bit of connection. And this looks good. Um, another another good way to see if um, if the laser connection looks good is if it's if it's shiny, it's not all that means um, it has a good connection, and um, you would you're not gonna have a problem with it um, when you actually um, run the board. And then we get to the third lead, of course, the same exact way. Just find it with the, the solder, just get a little bit, and just touch it between the leads and the board. Now we have the first component, which is the transistor, and I can see that it looks good. Um, um, if you can zoom in to see if any of the solder is actually having any connection with any of the other side of the board, and I think it looks really good. I, it doesn't have any problem. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is, um, of course, most likely each one um, of you has um, a different board layout, um, and for this board layout, it will be um, um, that's the way I did it, so it's a little bit different. But this is my this is the VCC, this is the data, this is the enable, and of course, this is the ground. This whole um, top layer is actually um, is actually grounded. 
Now let's get to the next step, which will be um, the resistors and the capacitors. Um, the first one I'm going to start with um, is actually going to be the, um, the 10K resistor. Over here, let me just grab it real quick. So the 10k resistor is actually um, going here on the enable signal. And by the way, um, with these with these resistors, you can actually um, check the values if you want to make sure. Um, the first two numbers, or the, sometimes the first three numbers, um, are whatever the value is. And the last one on the right, the number 3 in this case, is the power of 10. So that means it's 10 times 10 to the third, which is 10K. And, of course, for the resistors, you technically do the same way. You add just a little bit of flux, and then you bring solder with the soldering iron, and just touch it on that lead, and just add a little bit of it, and... Bring the resistor the same exact way, um, melt it, and then add the resistor to the lead. And again, you can um, do that again. Sometimes it doesn't work on the first time. That's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but just make sure that you actually have a good connection to the lead. Um, if you can see, I think it's a little bit to the right, so I'm not going to have um, a good connection um, on the left, so I'm going to just take it just a little tiny bit to the left. Do that this way. And you can just push it. Yep, this looks better. Now, let's flip the board to the other side. And do the other lead the same way. Add a little bit of flux. And get some of the solder with the soldering iron. And uh, make the second connection for it. And it's the exact same way. As you can see, it's even. You can see this left side from here is not. That good, so I could just set it the iron a little bit just to make it look better. Usually, in these cases, flux is your best friend. Um, if you have any connection that's not um, connecting well or the solder is not melting well, then you can just use them. Um, the next one is going to be my um, one micro. Um, cap um, which is going to be right over here um, of course we'll do it in the same way um, for the caps and the resistor they're almost the exact same um, there is really no there is really no difference between the two add a little bit over here and bring the cap Same way, that's a good connection, push it a little bit, and do the other side in the same way. Um, usually use the sponge to, um, to, to clean anything um, on the soldering iron, because um, each time you use it for any little use, um, I clean it to make sure it's not going to have anything else on it when you when you try to use it, um, and that usually helps with um, a good flow of the heat to the solder. Um, the next one is also going to be another one micro capacitor, um, which is going to be over here. Um, what I'm going to do just for um, just to make it faster, um, we have two components over here. We have the one micro solder capacitor over here and we have the 4.7 um, K ohm resistor. So I'm actually going to do these two in the same time um, just to make it faster.
this and just grab the capacitor. That's the connection, not tilted or anything. And then bring the 4.7k. If you can see, it's 47 times 10 to the second. So it's 47 times 100, um, which is 4.7k. Okay, you have these two blades from the side. And then flip it to the other side. Do the same as the rest. Um, again, just add a little bit of solder to it. And there we go. You want to make sure you have a good connection, um, or you make sure that it's not actually connected to any of the lead, other leads. Um, you can zoom in and you can take a closer look um, to the component just to make sure everything looks fine. The next step I'm going to do is the, the LED, the dyno LED and the receiver. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use first, that will be totally fine. I'm just going to start with the LED. Um, one thing to make sure, um, because this is a little bit tricky, um, for the LED you can see that there is two leads. There's the longer lead and there's the shorter one. The longer one actually goes to your V, um, to your VCC. Um, and actually, um, forgot to add one of the resistors over here. I'm going to actually do that really quick before we get to the LED. Um, that's the resistor you want to choose depending on what the current value you want to have in um, going to the um, going to the LED. Let me see here real quick. For me, through my, the calculations I use, um, it's going to be um, 62 ohms. Let's see real quick. Of course, um, just the same exact way. You added the solder and added, just slide it to the lead. And there we go. And same thing to the other lead. We do it in the exact same way. And just a little bit of solder over here. And here we go. Again, back to the LED. Um, again, so the longer lead actually goes to the VCC, and this is my VCC going over here. So I have to have the longer lead actually going to the left side over here. So let me go ahead and it here. Depends on the length you want it to be. Um, I decided to make it this long so I um, I will have the LED coming out this way and let's have a better look at it so you can have it this way um, and with this one make sure that you have the connection from both sides um, just for strength so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the back side first and, and then I'm going to go back to the uh, front side because the front side is actually the one that actually has the connection to um, the rest of the components. This back side doesn't actually have any connection to the board, it's just a ground, um, it's all just connected to the ground. 